today we're gonna be cooking zuppa di masso, eh? And I already cleaned them, okay? I cleaned them and I'm just chilling them. Chill them on ice, just to keep them alive, you know? So you, you can keep them for a while. You, if, if you're gonna, you know, you buy mussels, you, you're not gonna make them till a couple hours. Just put put some ice on them and keep them cold. You can keep them in the refrigerator, but that kind of that kind of scares me. You know what I mean? It's like a it's like a muscle coffin when you put them in there. You know what I mean? So let's get started. We're gonna start off by cutting our garlic. Okay? You remember how we used to do it, right? You put your garlic down, knife down, fingers up, boom. Squash it, okay? There we go. I did one for you, and I did a couple for me. Now we're just going to chop this up, okay? We're just going to get that little top off, because that's a little uh, skivad, see? Okay, so right now we're going to just chop it, chop, chop. All right, in background we got some Mach 22, Philadelphia's finest. Philadelphia's finest local band, Mach 22. They opened up for some Guns N' Roses. They opened up for Bon Jovi. They opened up for a lot of people, you know what I mean? They, did, they, op they didn't open up for Kiss, per se, but uh, I know they opened up for Gene Simmons and all. Check them out, Mach 22. Mach 22. Sounds like a car, right? All right, here we go. We're going to chop this up. And again, we got fresh herbs here, everything fresh. You hear that? You don't hear what they're saying? Ah, hey, shut up! Who's talking to you? What's the What? Ah! Hey, I'll give you a slap. You better watch out. Hey, these ingredients are fresh. See, with, with the mussels, I like I, I like the garlic not really minced. I kind of like chunks because when you, when you scoop into the sauce and then you eat the mussel, you got a piece of garlic. I love that. I love that. That's, that's just me. Hey, you don't like big chunks of garlic? Hey, then you know what? Mince away, you know what I mean? But that's just me. That's my preference. Again, these are what I, this is what I like to do. When you cook, you're gonna cook how you like to eat. I'm over here now. All right, so we have our garlic done. We're gonna start on our onion. Remember how I showed you do the onion? You cut cut that back off. Cut the back off, and we'll just slide our trash over here. We'll put some a little close in the, in the hole right there. All right, so. Again, you cut a bottom, you put it down, cut it in half with the root, get the root, put your knife in the middle of the root, boom, okay, take half, go down, look at this, nice and easy to pull, pull off, skin comes off nice and easy, huh, nice and easy, nice and easy peasy, alright, now again, like I showed you, just, just put your knife, don't, not all the way back, just right there, okay, Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Then through the middle, boom. Uh oh! Look at that! Who's got the red marker? Ha <laughs> ha! Red marker. Thank God I wasn't on Chef Ann's team, you know what I mean? I, my, my fingers will be red. Ready, red, red. Woo! My favorite thing about Cutting onions, look at this. Zero waste, guys. Zero waste of this onion. Look at that. Zero waste. When's the last time you, you cut an onion and you had zero waste, guys? Come on, forget about it. See, and the onions, same thing, man. I don't, I don't like the onions really, really small. I, I, I want to I, I, I eat the onions with, with the mussels, with the sauce. We're going to make some, uh, we're going to toast some bread. Um, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna eat good. We're going to eat good. All right, some onions. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the onions making me cry. <laughs> basil. We're going to get the basil next. We're going to pick some nice, nice. See the basil. You want you want to you want to cut a lot of the basil because. Uh, after it's done, you want to throw some basil on top, which adds a nice little oomph to your mussels. I ain't got no mussels. Who's got that mussels? Is it a missiles or mussels? Mussels. Guys, I, went to, I was down in New York last week at the uh, San Janeiro Feast. Ah, oh, forgot about it. For, I always wanted to go to that. Ah, oh, it was great. I oh, was so packed, though. So packed. Very packed. And, uh... I felt 
I, I felt good being down there. It reminded me of the old Italian market, how the uh, Italian festivals used to be back in the day. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, anybody from South Philly knows what I'm talking about out there. Those, those uh, Italian festivals? Oh, but I'll tell you what, the San Gennaro Feast, forget it. Know what they're missing? Well, if they have it, I didn't see it. They're missing the greasy pole. Anybody from South Philly would tell you the greasy pole. Everybody tries to climb up on the greasy pole. That's my favorite part. But again, look, see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm layering them. This is just how I do it. It makes it easier for me. And again, uh, size order. Size order. That's just me. Um, I don't know if you can hear the music in the background. You didn't want to over, uh, overbear on it. But again, it's Mach 22 playing in the background. Roll it up. This is what I do. I roll it up. Go over here. Boom. Look at that. Came out. But we'll, we'll take care of that. But, you know, we're, we just want to chop this up. Again, you want to cut a lot of basil because we want to put it in the, uh, while we're cooking the mussels and then on top. Yep, yep. We got some meatball maniacs out there. I know you guys are, uh, you got your stickers. And, uh, hey, I'm happy. Look. I want it, like I said, I want a meatball, Frankie meatball sticker in everybody's hand. Email me at cookingwithfrankymeatball at gmail.com. Email me your address, and boom, you got a sticker. You can look me up on Worst Cooks in America, Season 14. It was one of the first five episodes. This actually was a gift from a buddy of mine from New York, uh, uh, Scotty Beans. He's got, a, he's got his uh, uh, Facebook, uh, Beans TV. He uh, goes live. Guy's hilarious. Look him up on Facebook. Beans. Let's get some food. Hey, what you say to me? You talking to me? What you say to me? You better watch your mouth, yo. You watch your mouth. So this with the parsley bone, we're going to cut this. We're going to chop this all up. You be quiet. Who's talking to you? Don't talk to me. Huh? Don't talk to me. You got to hear the things he's saying. Oh, you know this is fresh when they're really talking back today. I got I got the muscles yelling at me. I got everything yelling at me. Hey, oh, hey. Now we got our mise en place. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab our bread. Nice bread, huh? Nice bread. So, I'm not going to cook all this. I'm just going to cook half of it. Okay, now that we have our bread, you use a bread knife and just put some slits in it like that. Alright? You could even kind of cut some of that out. Alright? Just, just a little bit, not too much. I think I did too much on that. You, know, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You could just put slits in it. I, I like, uh, I'm just going to put a, a little slit in there and leave it like that. See, boom. So you want to kind of get a little bit out. I love bread. You got to eat it, huh? So I like doing that. I can put some she seasonings and I'm going to put some butter in it. We're going to make some uh, garlic bread. So now I like doing some butter here. I slice some butter up. I'm going to put just a little bit of that because that's, that's, that's a lot. I'm going to drizzle some uh, some uh, olive oil on it too. Okay, so just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay. Um, boom. Alright. Let's do that. Some of that. I'll give it a little slither here. And there. So now you put your butter in there. Alright. Put your butter. Get some olive oil. and Put some olive oil on it. Just a little bit. Not too much. All right, let's make sure we get, get it in there. I said a little, not too much. I put a lot, eh? All right, get your salt and pepper. Not too much salt. Not too much pepper, because we don't want it too peppery. All right, just make sure we get it inside. All right. Now, I like doing uh, some granulated garlic. Okay, get it in there, because it's going to melt. It's going to take everything with it. Alright, look at that. Mmm, mmm, -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna do this. It's garlic bread. Put as much garlic as you want on it, huh? It's gotta be, tastes like garlic, because it's garlic bread. Alright, boom, yeah. Some over there. Not too much fresh garlic, let's just put a couple of them in there, you know? Just for like a little accent, I guess, huh? 
Alright, put a little accent on there. We'll put some basil, let's grab some of that basil, huh? Put some of that basil in there. Oh yeah. Some basil. Love basil, love basil, love basil. Like I said, I'd rather have a bouquet of basil than a bouquet of flowers. Some of that basil in there. That's it. Boom. See? Might as well, because since we have the parsley, right? Might as well. Let's use some parsley, huh? Since we have it, we use it, right? Put it in there. But don't use the onion. I don't I don't recommend the onion. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm using my gravy boat that I bought from Will Max. WillMax.com. You know, put some of that macaroni cheese on there. This is ready, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set it to the side, I don't want to put it in now, I don't want to put that in now, and then when the, when the mussels are done, that's going to be soggy and cold, and you know, you want it fresh, so when the mussels are just about done, throw that in, because we got our oven heating up, it's already heating up, I'm going to take this over to the oven, and of course I'm taking the wine, what are you, what are you silly, taking the wine, I'm taking my mise en place, and we're going to go over to the stove. Take a walk with me over here. All right, we got our mussels, we got our ingredients. Let's get to cooking. We got our oven set for the bread. Let's turn this up. Again, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. So I'm gonna get it hot. I'm gonna use some olive oil. Okay. Now what I do is like I like to saute. I like to cook the onions and the garlic together first okay I like to cook them together see we got a lot of onion we're not going to use all that just a little bit just a little bit I like cutting you know what I mean it's all right to have all right same same thing again you know I this then this is what I like to do I like get the flavors out with some of this some of that and then some of that and turn that up a little so we so we get started. I cook with wine, eh? And today we're gonna cook with wine and we're gonna put it in our food, guys. So look. White's not my cup of tea. But you know what? We're cooking with white, so I figured I'd have a little bit of white. That's about it, you know what I'm saying? We got some garlic in there. We got our onion in there. Not too much onion, but we got some onion in there. Some some of the basil, some of the parsley, some salt, some pepper. I use olive oil in there. Okay, and we just want to cook it. We want to get that smell before we start. And I always like to throw just a little bit, a little butter in there. Let, let let some butter get melted in. Okay, we're gonna let that melt melt up a little bit. Always always move around. Your garlic because you don't want it to stand in one place and burn. Okay, look at that. Mmm, the smell. You gotta smell what I'm smelling, guys. You gotta smell it. Alright. Very, 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 very nice. Alright, let's start off. We're gonna just pour some wine in there. And it's gonna cool everything off. And then we can lower it a little bit. Okay, put some wine in there, now we're going to get the mussels. I'm not going to throw all the mussels in there, but we're just going to throw, just put the mussels in. Put your mussels in. Alright, we got the mussels in. I like to give it a little, little stir. It's not necessary, but I don't know, it makes me feel good. Alright, we got our wine in there. We're going to steam them up now. Alright, make sure you got it. On a nice little high flame. You want to come down here and look at the flame. All right. You come down here and look at the flame. All right. Look at that flame, huh? Nice. All right. So now, while that's uh, cooking, I'll talk to you over here. Brooklyn Brand. Look at his shirt. I was at a block party in Brooklyn. 
I saw this. I know I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from South Philly. But let me tell you, the owner of this shirt of the company, he uh, he always posts about South Philly on his Instagram. His name is William DeMeo. Actor, he was in The Wannabes. He was in Back in the Day. Two great movies that he wrote. Uh, he's also in the new Gotti movie. Check him out. He plays Sammy the Bull. This is his t-shirt company, Brooklyn brand. I love the logo. The logo is awesome. I love it that he also puts it on the shoulder. Over here, you got Brooklyn brand. Now what we need to do is we got to get the meatball. We got to we gotta put a, a Brooklyn brand t-shirt on the meatball over there. You know what I'm saying? But hey guys, go to mybrooklynbrand.com and pick up a shirt. Okay? Support the Brooklyn brand because my brother supports South Philly on his Instagram. Muscles are just about done. We're going to stick our bread in the oven. All right? Stick our bread in the oven. Let's take a look at these uh, muscles. Oh, they're almost done. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They are good. They are good. They are golden. All right. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we're going to do, they're just about done, guys. So this is how I finish them off. More of this, more parsley, more basil. I'm gonna throw a little more, I'm gonna put the rest of the garlic because we love the garlic, okay? All right, the rest of the garlic, some onion. We're gonna finish that off like that, all right? Just a drop of some lemon, just a half of lemon juice, see that? Boom, perfect, a little more, boom. All right, now what we're gonna do Give that a little toss. Now just throw the butter on top. But take it off the flame. Okay, take it off the flame. Put your butter in. Okay? It's good to have your butter room temperature so it melts quicker. Okay? So put that butter in. Give it a little toss, guys. A little toss. Okay? Give it a little toss. Put the top back on, and the steam will finish it off. All right, so we have our bread in the oven. Our mussels are done. We top, we finish the sauce off with a little more garlic, a little more onion, the rest of the seasonings. Once it's in the uh, bowl, I'm going to hit it with just a little more uh, basil, and then bon appetit. I'm, I'm in love with these uh, the dishes, the bowls, and everything. Romax.com. Look. You know, everybody's out, you know, you want to put the muscles in there, you cover it up. Hey, guys, the muscles are ready. Hey, boom, bang, you know what I'm saying? Again, look at that. Nice bowl, nice deep bowl. We're going to put our muscles in. Okay, Wilmax.com. All right, guys, we got our bread. We got our muscles. Now it's time to manja. Look at that. Come on, guys. Let's get some of this, huh? Oh, there, have some bread. There's some bread, here. There's some bread. Come on, come on. Dig in, man. Don't be shy because the camera's on your move. Eat. See me? Look, they don't want the muscles. I want the muscle. Mmm. 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 Oh. Hey, guys, you're back. Listen, you like what you saw? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Okay? And that little bell button, if you... If you hit that little bell button, every time I release a video, you will get a notification. Okay? Don't forget, you want to... What do, what do they want to do, gents? Tell them what they want to do. Um, the cat got his tongue. You want to like and subscribe to this video if you like what you saw. Look at this. The muscles are just about done, huh? Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Frankie Meatball. Brooklyn Bread. We'll see you next week. And we're going on a road trip.